Okay, in this video, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts on sports and watching sports. These are just my thoughts, my opinions on it. Um, I don't think I'm any better than anyone who watches sports or anything. It's just what I think of it. So when I was a gamer, I used to watch eSports. And I used to root for my team, right? Yay, this team. But over time, I realized that, you know, why do I care? You know, these players are cool. I root for them because I, I like them for some reason. But, you know, when the teams kept changing and they kept exchanging players and stuff like that, um, I realized, dude, what am I doing? Why do I care about this? It didn't impact my life positively in any way. And I'm just watching somebody who doesn't even know I exist. So gradually, I stopped caring because I had more important things to worry about, which was my life. That's the one thing that you should care about the most. And I see many people just being so invested in sports watching it, caring about who wins, who doesn't win. Meanwhile, their life is stuck. And I'm like, shouldn't you be using this energy for bettering your life? Care about something that impacts you. Sure, it can be fun, but, but you gotta also weigh in the consequences and the costs of it, right? Nothing is for free. So whenever you do something, you are sacrificing something else. It's just how it works, you know, you cannot have everything in life. Um, and to me, the cost was just overpriced <laughs> for the entertainment. I just couldn't see myself enjoying it, knowing how much I'm sacrificing, which was my time, my mind, and my focus. Many people do it for the identity, you know. I'm a fan of this team, I'm a fan of that team, and just to have some sort of identity, that's just how it is, just to be in a crowd, have a sense of community, right? But it's not real, or it's a negative impact on your health, or our life. And me knowing the background of these things, I just cannot support it. It's just like in Rome, when the economy was collapsing, they just started building colosseums and gave people bread and games. So people were distracted with bread and games while the economy was collapsing and then the whole Rome collapsed. It's kind of similar to today, isn't it? Now also, a lot of matches are rigged for sports betting because there are people that just <laughs> that make money this way. They just know what, what's gonna happen in a match and these matches are scripted. So the players are like actors. They have a certain script and they gotta do a certain thing that is in the script so that the betters win their money. And the oblivious people that bet on these things because it can be very addictive because gambling is addictive. It undermines the human psychology of taking risks and getting dopamine from rewards. They just prey on these oblivious people that are that cannot help themselves so when you know these games are just scripted games then why should you care and also the people don't care about you the players the team doesn't have anything with you sure if there was a friend of mine or they were my friends or i had something to do with the team then sure i'd watch and be invested and see how it goes you know i'd have a reason but this way like most of us it's a waste of time and your focus. So those are my thoughts on games because things are happening all the time, right? World Cups, yada yada. But you know, those things are just distractions. Thanks for watching.